think that I wanted to expound a little bit more on the what happened at work. Um, I wanted to go into a little bit more detail, but um, anyway, this guy came to work there, and he sat down at the table with me, and it was like outside in the like the smoking area, and there wasn't any, anyone else around, and he he got on. He didn't want to just like come right out and say it. But anyway, he wanted to tell me that he was gay. And so I told him, you know, that I was transitioning from male to female. And some things that I don't quite understand, you know, um, I don't identify as being gay. I, 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 I <laughs> I identify as being transsexual, and my sexuality is split straight down the middle, uh, bisexual. Um, but I, I don't understand his reasoning behind telling everyone that I was gay. Uh, so, I mean, it was simpler for me after I realized that he had told them almost four months ago, you know, that I was gay, that I kind of figured it was almost pointless. I mean, because if they had thought that I was gay for four months, what is it going to matter, really, if they know that I'm, that I'm transsexual, that I'm transitioning from male to female? And <clears throat> my, my supervisor had already knew because I told them, like, a long time ago, and I told them I had planned on coming out, you know, and just being myself. I was going to wait until further along in hormones and further along with my, I mean, taking the spiral and stuff like that, but this thing here kind of made it possible for me just to come on out. And yes, I, I told some people, and I feel like it was a good decision. It was really difficult at first because I didn't know what to expect. Um, my, what, what I, I found strange was the first day that I showed up and I had my, my hat on, my hair done, you know, when I was wearing all my girl clothes and everything. The reaction that they, there was, you could tell, you know, they thought it was funny you know, at first, but then I'd show up again the next day wearing something differently, you know, and in my mind, it was worried what people thought, you know, it was worried about, you know, every time somebody was talking to someone else and you couldn't hear what they were saying, you were wondering if they were talking about you, or if they were laughing, you were wondering, is the, the conversation about you, and I kind of got through that, and after a while, I just kind of realized that the way that I looked to them had grew on them, and they were starting to just accept the fact that this is the way that I am. Um, some things are, uh, what's the word? They haven't changed, I mean, as far as the way that, that the men there treat me, and there is no women there in the, the department where I'm at. There's none at all at the present time. Um, it, it was hard to just do this. It really was. Um, at the present time, my, um, you, I think everybody knows there's maybe a handful of people that don't know. And whenever I first started this, I mean, I was watching videos about, you know, people transitioning and there was people that went stealth and, and no one knew that they were men before and stuff like that. 
and I, I suppose it's, it's okay, you know, for them to do that. You know, I understand, you know, but I feel like my own circumstances in my own life have it almost demands for me to do it publicly. Um, everything. I mean, whenever I told my kids, and then they started telling everyone they came in contact with that I was doing this. And when my wife split off from me, um, she was doing the same thing. Every person she'd come in contact with, she would tell the situation to. So, <clears throat> It's pretty much been a public thing. Um, when I first started dressing publicly, um, I started out at a gay bar. I went to the gay bar, and it wasn't this habit. about where I had hair basically the same way. But I got comfortable around the people in the bar, and I met friends there. Um, got some on my Facebook. And they really were acceptive of me at the time, you know, and it, it really, it opened the door for me to be more comfortable around people. And so after this, I started venturing out just a little bit more, you know, um, I went to Walmart and I mean, people look, but to me, the looks that I'm getting are more out of a curiosity than they are anything else. I mean, here, this, it's not as common. Um, I, 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 there's other girls around here, but I don't know, you know, how people perceive them, but I, I can tell that there's, there's no negative deal. I, I mean, I've went in, like I said, to Walmart, and uh, walked through Walmart, and looked, went to the women's section, bought new clothes, hats, and, um, but, I mean, people look. Um, some of the looks that I'm getting, I, I get looks from women. Sometimes I feel like they're looking at me because of what I'm wearing and they're checking out my clothes. But then I also get looks from men. Um, the looks from men are just, completely different. But, uh, I don't want to explain all that. But, um, it's... It's just strange. Um, no one laughed in Walmart. <laughs> so I don't, you know. And then I thought, you know, after I went to Walmart and stuff, I thought, well, you know what? I'm getting no reaction, you know, and what reactions I'm getting are not bad reactions. So I decided to go to the mall, and I walked through the mall and went and checked out some clothes and bought some, some undergarments and things. And actually this piercing I bought from from the mall. And this necklace here, I don't know if you can see that, it's kind of blurry looking to me. I bought this from the mall. And I, <clears throat> the only thing that happened really in the mall, one person saw me and they laughed at me, but I think that when they laughed and everyone else around them kind of just looked at them funny, they kind of cut that short. So it it made me feel a lot better. I mean, when you walk into a place and one out of a thousand laugh at you, that's got to be pretty good, you know. And like I said, their laughter was cut short when they realized no one else was laughing with them. But it, it's it's been something else, you know. Um, really there isn't any place, I mean, I even walk through town and sometimes I got to go to the store, you know, and buy things and I, uh, at the time I didn't have a car or anything and I would just walk through town and, <clears throat> but is, I'm really glad that it's kind of come out this way and in this area, it's, it's backwoods, you know, it's not a big city, it's just like a town, and, but it's, I mean, it is kind of big, but 
ain't, it ain't a city by no means. But any, anyway, I spent so much time worrying or thinking about what people would think of me that I never really took into consideration that they may not think anything at all, you know. So, I, I, I mean, I kind of realize I've talked to other people and stuff, and our, our environments are completely different from one another. And in one environment, this may not be accepted very well, but then in another environment it is. And you may not even know that it's acceptable in the environment unless you try. So, I... just want to say that um okay i i'm done with this one